hip-hop trio Naughty by Nature, consisting of Anthony Chris, better known as Tretch, Vincent Brown, better known as Vinrock, and Kier Lamont Gist, better known as DJ KG, came together in their teens in East Orange, New Jersey. The first time they performed as a group was at East Orange High School during KG's senior talent show in 1987. Growing up, KG looked up to his older brother, who was heavily into hip-hop music and fashion. But it wasn't until after he saw the 1983 hip-hop film Wild Style that he became inspired to become a DJ. As a DJ, KG knew he needed backup, so he asked his childhood friend Vinny to beatbox for him. But they still needed an MC. Vin knew the perfect person for the job, a guy in his health class that went by the nickname Tiny T Treachery, who would later become known simply as Tretch. The group went on to perform regularly at local talent shows, winning every time and building a local following under the name The New Style. Eventually, they got into the studio to begin recording. They officially appeared on the music scene in late 1989 when they dropped their debut album titled Independent Leaders. After its release, the group organized their own talent show to show off their performance skills to some other local artists that were part of a New York, New Jersey hip-hop collective called The Flavor Unit. One member of the crew in particular was very impressed by what she heard. She went by the name Queen Latifah. She took them under her wing as a mentor and they subsequently changed their name to Naughty by Nature, the name of one of the tracks off their original demo. Naughty's first hit would be the track OPP, the first single off their sophomore self-titled album released in 1991. It sampled the Jackson 5's hit ABC and peaked at number six on the Billboard Hot 100. Get out with OPP. Yeah, you know Get out with OPP. Yeah, you know the album generated another hit with a reworking of Bob Marley's No Woman No Cry called Everything's Gonna Be Alright. The track was also called Ghetto Bastard on some explicit releases. Powered by the success of both singles, the album went platinum. With success though, sometimes drama can follow. And it did when fellow New Jersey native DJ, MC, and producer Tony D accused Naughty by Nature of stealing a sample from his album Music Makes You Move and using it on OPP. The sample in question clearly comes from the track Adam's Nightmare, as anyone who listens to it will hear. The matter was eventually settled out of court. Naughty by Nature's third single off their second album called Uptown Anthem also appeared on the soundtrack to the 1992 crime thriller film Juice, in which Tretch had a cameo appearance. He even began to pursue an acting career after cultivating a close friendship with Tupac Shakur on the set. After Tupac's death in 1996, Tretch recorded a tribute song titled Mourn You Till I Join You. Hit albums and hit singles would keep on coming for the group over the next several years. 1993's platinum selling, 1993, included the smash, Hip Hop Hooray, that made it into the top 10 on the Hot 100 and captured the number one spot on the R&B hip hop chart. A couple of years later, Poverty's Paradise dropped. The gold album gave the group the top 20 hit, Feel Me Flow, and their first, and to date only, Grammy Award for Best Rap Album. Around this time, Naughty by Nature also started their own music imprint, Ill Town Records. After a four year break, the group came back with their fifth studio album titled 1999, Nature's Fear. Another certified gold project, it spawned the top 10 hit, Jamboree. 1999 would turn out to be an extra special year for Tretch, who tied the knot with girlfriend Sandra Denton, better known as Peppa of hip hop group Salt and Peppa. They also already shared a child born the year prior. The marriage wouldn't last long though, ending after just two years. Many years later, Peppa would allege abuse at the hands of Tretch in her 2008 memoir, Let's Talk About Peppa. It's a mystery as to why, but nine years after that, Tretch finally responded to the allegations on his Instagram, where he laid into Peppa under a Throwback Thursday photo of the two of them, calling her a liar, another word for prostitute beginning with the letter W, made fun of her face, skin, and backside, accused her of turning his kids against him, and remarked on her sexual rendezvous with younger men in the industry. Then, sadly, cracks would begin to form within the group and have its members at odds with one another. A dispute regarding finances developed between KG and Tretch. Tretch blamed KG for squandering the group's money. As a result, KG decided to leave Naughty by Nature in late 2000 and shift his focus to the production side of music. The company the group had established years prior, Ill Town, eventually evolved and developed into Divine Mill, and KG took on the task 
of producing and developing new artists under the new moniker. Little may people know, he ended up being the one to discover and sign numerous 90s and 2000s R&B acts, such as John A, Next, Jaheem, The Rain, and Coffee Brown. Even though he's mostly known for his contributions to the hip hop world, he developed quite an ear for R&B soul music, since he grew up listening to what his father would play, namely the Jackson 5, Sam Cooke, Marvin Gaye, Teddy Pendergrass, and Luther Vandross. Tretch and Vin Rock forged ahead as a duo and released an album in 2002 titled Icons. Due to KG's absence, the group used a variety of different producers. The album, however, didn't do anywhere near as well as their earlier work. Later that same year, Naughty by Nature disbanded. After some time apart and KG and Tretch had worked through their issues, all three members of Naughty by Nature found their way back together again. At the end of 2011, Naughty by Nature finally released their long-awaited seventh album, titled Anthem Inc. It featured brand new material as well as re-recordings of the group's past hits. Then in 2013, frontman Tretch publicly fired Vin Rock from the group. On Twitter, no less. Tretch took things a step further with a follow-up tweet just minutes later, stating that he also didn't even want to associate with anyone who was down with Vin. And if that wasn't enough, he also dropped a diss track called Tall Midget. Hours later, Vin Rock responded using the group's official Twitter account to let everyone know that you can't fire the owner. Tretch and KG then went on Power 105.1's The Breakfast Club later that week and held nothing back. According to Tretch, the separation was a long time coming. No one is bigger than the team. You ought to think about your squad or the whole thing don't work. Everybody has a position to play, knows it, respects it. When you get out of that and you bigger than the group, it's unacceptable. Tretch went into further detail claiming that he was the one to put Vin on, in a sense, by gifting him verses on naughty songs. The driving forces of the group were always him as the writer and KG as the producer. But since Vin was their boy, they brought him along for the ride. Everything apparently came to a head when Vin allegedly put his hands on Tretch during a business meeting. After that, they didn't speak to each other for two years, while still continuing to fulfill their work obligations. By 2016, when the group was celebrating their 25th anniversary, all parties had resolved their issues and were able to come together for a nationwide tour. When the tour ended, they were also hoping to have accomplished their goal of raising $100,000 through a Kickstarter campaign to fund a 25th anniversary EP. Sadly, they came up $65,000 short. On May 2nd, 2019, the Mixtape Tour commenced in Cincinnati, Ohio, with Naughty by Nature joining salt and Peppa, Debbie Gibson, and Tiffany with the headliner, New Kids on the Block, to bring all the nostalgia from back in the day that the fans love. Also that year, the trio did a sit-down interview with Sway's Universe and touched on the business side of their rise to fame. Unlike some other artists, the guys had nothing but good things to say about their experience with Tommy Boy specifically, the label that distributed Naughty by Nature, 1993, and Poverty's Paradise. They definitely had the flavor unit to thank for that, since they were the ones that taught the group how to brand themselves. Today, all three original members of Naughty by Nature appear to only come together when duty calls. Several years ago, KG and Vin Rock branched off together, along with DJ Slugga the Bear, to form another group slash production crew called Ill Town Sluggas. They perform at various events, produce records, and also help develop new artists. KG and Next lead singer RL are also currently working on a Naughty by Next project. In 2019, a mysterious Naughty by Nature album dropped, also called Ill Town Sluggas. It had the group's logo on the front, but Tretch was noticeably absent from the cover art. Vin came out to clear up the confusion by confirming that the project was, in fact, never supposed to be released under the Naughty by Nature moniker. Their digital team rounded up a bunch of unreleased and or abstract music from the trio, threw them into one playlist, and released it online, giving it the appearance it was a proper studio album. He also mentioned that a real Naughty by Nature album would drop the following year. However, as of the making of this video, that hasn't happened yet. In 2021, Vin, along with his business partner, started a financial company named Money Avenue, a completely Black-owned digital financial services platform that provides services such as residential mortgage, investment, personal finance, and life insurance nationwide. Tretch performs on his own quite regularly as Tretch of Naughty by Nature, 
doing various throwback shows and tours, such as the I Love the 90s tour that's been going strong for over five years. In May 2022, he, along with CeeLo Green, Kid and Play, JJ Fad, and Thea Austin of Snap, secured a 10-day Vegas residency. He's also continued his acting career and can be seen in several productions in 2022, including the Lifetime movie, Vanished, Searching for My Sister, and the 2B original, Lord of the Streets. He also took another trip down the aisle in 2019 when he married his longtime girlfriend and mother of two of his children, Cecily Evans. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.